in his absent associate minister and thank God for my ram in the bush. <laughs> And um, if you will, turn in your Bibles to the scripture, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. May we stand? And when you have it, say amen. And while they stand, I give honor to the deacons. Amen. And all of you. I thank God for you. When you have it, say amen. 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 Can we read it together, please? Wait a minute, hold the back of pages, John. Give me another second. Now, the straight and narrow way, are you ready? 
learning to straighten it now away, because the straightening now away can get difficult at times with various hardship, discourage, or but God offers us encouragement through his son Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now I got four points, and I'm gonna be fuming through it in a minute because y'all know I'm short and to the point. And somebody's gonna get it. Now I'm gonna give you four points in helping you run and win this race. Number one, outset. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You got to seek God. God is there for you to seek. Many lose the Christian race because of the start of it. They depend on a change of mind rather than a change of heart. Or they prefer on feeling instant of God's promise. Let me talk about that a little bit. Now you got to get your mind right on God. You got to stay focused on God in order for the run this race of God. Because the devil don't want you to win this race. And I want everybody to win this race. Now when you win, being right, we must repent. First we got to repent. We got to confess our sins daily. Every day we wake up, we sin. So every day before you start praying, you repent of your sins. You surrender all to Him. Faith based on God's Word brings His forgiveness and cleanness. You got to pray every day, all day sometimes. Sometimes you got to go, hmm, hmm, hmm. You can't say nothing else because when you hmm and you moan, the devil don't know what you're talking about. And God knows what you're talking about when you moan. And sometimes you got to go in that secret closet and you just got to moan a little bit. Amen. Then we're going to go to the outlook. Rejoice in the Lord always. You're supposed to be happy even when you're sad. You show God. Permission brings defeat. Nobody wants to be defeated. Many Christians fail because of the negligent outlook that also discourage others. You're supposed to lift up others. Most people, when they don't believe, they don't want you to believe, and then they're going to tell you why they you believe, because they don't see what God has done for you. They only look at the bad things, but when you pray, God don't come when you want it, but he comes on time. Because he's a on time God. You must be a mystic looking forward to the good, not the bad. We win when we reach for the high expectation. And that's the best. When we reach our goal for heaven, that's what we're running for. Are we running for heaven? Because I know I ain't running and ain't going to heaven. Amen. I'm going to reach heaven, reach for the stars. The sky is the limit. You can't reach that sky, but if you believe it, you win. Because the sky is the limit when you're running for God. The outreach. Now, we are ambassadors of Christ. Many fail because of self Centeredness. They seek only temporary and selfish gain. You only think of yourself all the time and not God and not somebody else. When your brother man is down, you need to pick him up. If you can help him, you need to pick him up. Because the thing is, you don't always have to give money, but a kind word on a bad day makes somebody feel all right. When, so, when we win in Christian life, by reaching out to others, helping less fortunately. Witnesses. How many of us go out and witness? It ain't got to be a big witness, but a small witness. If you just go to somebody and just having a bad day and say, you know, God is good. And they ask you what? Yes, he's good. You might not feel it, but keep on living. You will feel it. But you don't need it. The outcome. I have finished my course. Henceforth, there it is. Laid up for me a crank. I don't know about y'all, my head ready for my crayon. <laughs> I'm ready for my crayon. I'm ready for my crayon because I done ran and ran and ran. And those who reject Christ will lose the race. Mm, mm. Nobody wants to lose. Even when we was little, you didn't want to lose. You weren't playing for nothing and running for nothing, but you still lost and you was mad, right? <laughs> so those who reject their destiny will be sealed. You don't want to be sealed without God's destiny in your plan. You have to look further than that. God is good all the time. Those who accept Christ will be rewarded with the crown of life. 
eternal life of God, the outset, the outlook, the outreach determines your outcome. Amen. So you got to have all this to keep running the race. Then y'all want the cram and new shoes. And I don't know about y'all, I'm ready for some new shoes. <laughs> and my grow. I'm just about finished because y'all know I'm short, sweet, and too poor. Just bad with That can stop him from, you know, when we was little, anybody ever had a dog, wanted a dog, or got a dog. Okay, you remember how the dog used to run around like this? <laughs> right? Biting his tail because he had a flea and he wanted to get that flea off of him. That's just like slave Satan. He's like a flea in our back and he keeps biting us and biting us because he don't want us to burn what God has for us. But I don't know a man that sits high and looks low. And he got something for my body. He cured my body. And his name is Jesus. Y'all know Jesus? Have you ever scratched an inch or got a flea off you? Not a flea in general, but you know. I had to clarify that because I don't want to be misunderstood.